Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we are so excited to be touring our newest dark build. If you are interested in purchasing this van, please reach out through the contact email in the description box below. As always, we'll be linking many of the items used in this conversion and shopping through these affiliate links is a great way to support us. With that, welcome back to the dark side. This conversion is built inside a 2020 high roof ProMaster platform. From the front axle to the rear, this van spans 136 inches and has under 24,000 miles on the odometer. Having built within various sized ProMaster models, we can confidently say that this wheelbase is our personal favorite among them for its turn radius and overall drivability. The livable square footage increases with the addition of this swivel seat which turns to face the main living space. Below the swivel seat, you can find your Webasto S2000 Airtop Gasoline Heater, which is tapped directly into the onboard fuel tank. This tile-to-floor transition runs along the length of the kitchen unit, transitioning from dark hexagonal tiles to luxury vinyl planking. It continues above the kitchen unit in a similar fashion, wrapping around the interior of the window box frame and then transitioning to a small section of moss above the sink. We love adding small hints of greenery to bring these spaces to life with natural pops of color. This kitchen unit is our most modern yet. By using camper push pop hardware, no exterior latches or handles are visible. Without any hardware distracting you or protruding out, this unit remains sleek and incredibly minimal. To open one of the drawers or cabinets contained, simply push upon the front of its face. Running along one entire length of your ceiling are five large upper cabinets. In the one directly above your sink, you can find four USB ports and two 12 volt outlets. Ventilation in a kitchen is important for any home, but it's even more important in a tiny one on wheels. The largest window in this home can be found just above your kitchen while two smaller windows can be found on either side of the bed. Located just above this 1800 watt Furion double burner induction stovetop, you can also find your max air fan. With 10 vent speeds and the ability to work in the rain, you shouldn't have to worry about any lingering smells from cooking inside your home. We made this countertop out of maple wood and then stained it to match the warm tones found within the floor and ceiling. Making your own countertops is a great way to personalize the space and add custom elements, such as this cutout that covers the undermounted sink and this table, which pulls out to give you even more surface area. This table serves as an extension to your kitchen, giving you additional room to enjoy a meal or work remotely from the road. Beneath this table, you can find your 65 quart isotherm refrigerator with a freezer compartment. When you aren't using this bench area to lounge or work, remove the cushions and bench lid to access this 34 by 22 inch fully waterproofed area. What's so great about this shower is that it's self-contained and easily convertible, meaning everything you need to transform this area into a shower can be stored within the bench itself. When you need to wash off, just lift up the curtain frame and clip these four hooks into the ceiling. To access your shower head, look no further than your sink. The main faucet head can be easily removed and replaced with this one, which can reach a longer distance and has a spray nozzle similar to that of a shower. Before hopping in, make sure your 2.5 gallon electric water heater is on. This will ensure that hot water is flowing from the system. All gray water draining from this area then collects in the gray water tank securely mounted underneath the vehicle. Lastly, it's important to mention that this curtain is mold and mildew resistant dries completely in about 30 minutes after use and can even be left hanging up while the vehicle is in motion. We love that this flexible space allows your home on wheels to remain completely open. Personally, we feel that having the option to shower without sacrificing the space that is necessary to hard mount a full wet bath is the best of both worlds. In addition, if you are someone who prefers a bit more privacy while using the facilities, 
This space can also serve as an enclosed private bathroom. While we don't include composting toilets in our conversions, we can include this Dometic travel toilet with a flush function should you choose to do so. A fixed bed has many perks. These indented wall boxes make one even more worthwhile. They add about three inches of length per side, allowing for an individual as tall as 6'3 to sleep comfortably. We've included these two bedside LEDs as well, which cast more than enough light to lose yourself in a book. Mattress Insider supplies custom mattresses for mobile rigs, whether it be a van, an RV, a truck, or even a boat. Their specialty is supplying almost any odd size or unique shape you can dream up. For us, that meant a three-quarter size mattress that's four and a half inches thick. This isn't sponsored, just an honest review. So if you too have struggled to find the perfect mattress, feel free to shop through the affiliate code we've linked down below. When you do, you'll get 5% off your purchase. Lift up your mattress to reveal this section of bed, which is hinged to allow you access into a large carpeted compartment within your garage. Before we move on from the back of the living area, it's important to note that these back panels are all removable should you choose to service your doors or replace your taillights at any point. Achieving this dark aesthetic in a white van came with its own set of challenges. These door panels were made to completely cover the metal, and with all three closed, you'd barely know you're in a white vehicle. The back two panels have window frames built into them, while the side door panel features two inlaid boxes, which illuminate to provide the space with another excellent source of ambient lighting. Like all of the LEDs in this van, these are touch dimmable to give you just the right amount of light. A variety of good lighting options can transform any home, which is why we've included so many. Aside from the ones we've already mentioned, this switch panel controls three other options. These upper and lower LEDs, and this LED, which illuminates the backsplash. Any one or combination of these lights adds a whole new dimension to this dark theme van. The powerhouse of this van is hidden behind this panel, which is easily removable. This system features 400 amp hours of lithium, which include a warming pad so that the batteries can be charged in freezing temperatures. The Victron Blue Solar 30 amp MPPT charge controller charges off the power of the sun using these 400 watts of eco-worthy slimline flexible solar panels, which give the van a low profile and create minimal resistance on the vehicle. This entire system can be monitored on your phone using the Victron app via Bluetooth. This van can also be charged using a Victron 30 amp battery to battery charger that keeps the batteries topped off while you drive. The 2200 watt pure sign inverter allows you to power your typical household items, such as your water heater, stove, and these outlets. All the main fuses in this system have been labeled, making this off-grid rig user-friendly. The 12-volt fuse boxes branch off to provide power to your 12-volt accessories, such as the lights, heater, fan, etc. We've included two smoke alarms and a carbon monoxide detector as an added safety measure. The fresh water system in this van features a 25-gallon tank, which can be easily filled from this port. While you fill, the level can be monitored using this illuminated line. Both this tank and the seven gallon gray water tank are equipped with warming pads to prevent freezing and ensure this home is truly four seasons. For added convenience, the gray water tank can be dumped remotely using this toggle switch. After the overwhelming response to our last dark build, designing another was definitely a tough legacy to live up to. If you think we raised the bar on this one, please be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment. It really does help us out so much. And once again, thank you for watching. See you next time.